Hey y'all, let's have another adventure. Hey y'all, welcome back to another adventure. Here I'm at the Old Mill District over here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we're about to go and check out some cool stuff. And if you're like a big old redneck like me, you're going to enjoy it. Hey y'all, and check this out. We're over here at the Old Mill General Store, just right after the sign. Check out this little waterfall and this cool old mill. And this is how they make all their flour and different things like that. And man, I just tried a sample earlier. Oh man, there's like this nice biscuit, like a cornbread biscuit that they made, kind of like a sample. Man, was it good. Remind me of my old my grandma's cooking. <laughs> she put too much lard in it, but it was good. Hey guys, just got out of Express Yourself. I like that name. It's here in Old Mill, and I couldn't really record in there because of, you know, copyright issues with the sound and stuff. But I just got myself a cappuccino, and they got some really unique flavors and different things. You know how hot chocolate, that's what this is, by the way. You know how hot chocolate's normally kind of like powder and stuff? Well, this one's actually Ghirardelli sauce. Uh, sound pretty good to me. That and steamed milk. Heck yeah. Eh, right, keep on touch. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm here at the Old Mill, and I've seen this pottery expert making some stuff, and I thought I'd ask her some questions. First off, when did you start? Um, I've actually been in pottery for about 20 years. So okay. Specifically here, uh, last July. Well, that's really neat. And what do you like about it? Um, everything. <laughs> yeah? And what are you doing right now? I'm weighing out my clay. Um, I like to weigh out a certain amount so I can just go for it. I don't have to stop and weigh it out. That's a good uh, idea. So every piece has a certain clay weight. Okay. Uh, so it helps with the consistency of about the same shape and everything. So these are about a quarter pound for little tumblers and then three pounds for small utensil holders. Oh, that's neat. And can you explain what these are again, these plates? These are they're called bats. Uh, they're plaster, and we set them in a ring on the wheel, and that's what we throw the pots off of. It helps us to take the pots on and off the wheel, well, off the wheel, and it also helps with the drying process. That's so really cool. And where are we at? Uh, the Old Mill Pottery in Pigeon Forge. Cool. Or Pigeon River Pottery, rather. All right. <laughs> well, you heard that, guys. How long does it normally take to make one? Well, it depends on the piece. Um, a few minutes. Okay. That's really good. Cool. Wow, you did that quick. <laughs> we are production pottery. We, we uh, try to make good stuff really fast. Lots yeah, of the more of it, yeah. <laughs> just now. If you like it, you want to check it out, come on, come down to the Pigeon Forge Pottery area. It's pretty cool. Hey guys, I'm here in the Old Mill. This is called Long Story Short. Interesting name. And there's so much unique stuff in here. Seems like each little area is a different section. And if you all are like me and Harry Potter fans, check this out. Crimes of Grindelwald and all kinds of cool stuff. They got books. All kinds of cool stuff. Check out these rocks and stuff too. <laughs> hey. 
the helmet. It's really cool. Again, it's called a long story short, so come on down and check this out. It's pretty neat. Hey y'all, and check this out. I'm here at the Old Mill restaurant. It's pretty loud, so hopefully you can hear me. And this is the starter appetizer before you can actually get your meal. Got some delicious corn chowder, handmade biscuits, and these corn fritters with this delicious honey butter. It is good. See you soon. Hey y'all, and check this out. The main course came, and I got country fried steak, mashed potatoes, and flat beans. It is good. Look at that. That reminds me of my old grandma's cooking. That's what I call lip smacking country style flat beans. Hey y'all, that was some good eats and that's the aftermath. There ain't much left after that. Hey y'all and what's up? Just got done with the old meal restaurant and man was it good. Bit too loud to record, tried to do a little bit, but don't know how good it got. I know it was a little loud in there, it was hard to hear. But it was great. Real good service. And it's definitely worth the wait if there is a wait at the time. And it is good. It has big portions too, so I might take some home with you. Unfortunately, I didn't get to. <laughs> Wish I could. But it, it was very, very good. Uh, the sides, the bread, the fritters were delicious. So if you haven't been here, I definitely recommend it. If you guys are like me, y'all, I love my knives. You can collect a whole bunch. Just check out some of these. Somewhere between eight and nine. Good. Good quality. Yeah. 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 Good quality and good prices, too. That's cool. So that was Lock, Stock, and Blade over here in the old mill. It's pretty neat. You know, I like a lot of blades. And my grandpa, he collected a whole bunch, so it was pretty neat seeing them. <laughs> Ironically, though, I think we had quite a few of those types in our collection. Or at least we did at one time. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, hey, guys. I'm at the old mill, and I'm feeding us some ducks over here at the last little thing before we head out. Can't come here without feeding the ducks. It's a pretty cool thing. You can either go over there and get some food for 25 cents or you can go in the old mill bakery area and get it for a dollar get a big old bag like this pretty cool pretty fun and yeah come on down check it out and it don't hurt and it's pretty interesting though they they like to fight each other <laughs> all right i'll see y'all later this is the end of the trip at the old mill restaurant hope you guys enjoyed it check me out like comment subscribe and I'll see you next time on Adventure Awaits. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going into the Great Smoky Mountains. Is that a bear sighting? Uh, we'll have to find out. Stay tuned. Come on back and you'll find out.